between Kane Horman and his former wife, Terry Horman, continued today inside a Multnomah County courtroom. Now, attorneys for Terry Horman wanted unlimited access to cross examine the couple's former landscaper, who reportedly has information about an alleged murder for hire plot. Brent Weisberg was in court. He's digging deeper into the legal matters. He's live downtown with more. Brent? Jenny, good afternoon to you. Coin 6 News was the first to report that Kane and Terry divorced. Their divorce was finalized on December 31st. It is important to note and important to remember that despite all of the legal battles that are happening right now, Kyron Horman is still missing, and investigators have not identified a suspect or even named a person of interest in his disappearance. Cameras are not allowed to record family proceedings in Multnomah County Court, so the video you are seeing was recorded several months ago. Attorneys for Terry Moulton Horman wanted to be able to cross-examine the landscaper who used to work for Kane and Terry. He has made allegations allegations that Terry was at the center of an alleged murder for hire plot to kill Kane. Terry's, Horman, Terry's lawyers say because they cannot cross-examine the landscaper, the court will only know half the story. But Kane's attorney argued because Terry has decided not to incriminate herself, the full story will never be known. The judge ruled that he will not allow Terry's legal team to cross-examine the landscaper, and that was his ruling all along. He also said that the custody trial must move forward if there is any chance that Terry Horman will get a chance to rebuild her relationship with her daughter. Now, we talk with Kane Horman after court today. We still have this guy who's missing, and there's nothing more important to me than keeping my daughter safe and bringing him home. We still feel that we're looking at the right people who are potentially involved with, this partic with his particular situation, and we're still going after it. Well, Kane, Kane Horman told me that he says that investigators with the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office has made significant progress on the case within the last couple of months, but he would not elaborate on it. So I went to the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office and I asked them. I also asked the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office if they had any new information about this case. They said they did not want to comment on it. They said it is still an open investigation and detectives are still working on it and they would not comment on any new progress that was made if it has been made. Reporting live downtown, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News.